Hi everyone, this is me, Morgan Birch, reporting for Kids First, age 11 and a half, and today we are doing the film brought to you by Disney called Peach Dragon. Now, I remember the original, which was made in 1977. I absolutely loved this film. It was live action with hand-drawn animation added to the film. I absolutely loved this film because it was singing and happy, and it made me want to just tap your toe and sing along with the other characters. And this was one of the greatest films Disney's actually ever made to me. But now for a new era and a new generation, this film was taking a turn and turning into a drama. Uh, to tell you the truth, I did not like this film very much because they just took something that was so great and adorable and turned it into something that was sad and, sad and dreary and just made you want to go out of the movie theater, get a bunch of tissues, and cry your eyes out. And it's from Disney, the happiest place on earth. Now, does that sound something Disney related to you? It doesn't to me, that's for sure. But if I thought of this film as a different film, and if they changed the name like to Orcs Dragon or any name actually, it would have probably been much better to me because I remember the original and this just did not seem like it at all. Now, one of my pet peeves about Disney and a bunch of other studios that are currently doing this is that they're taking movies that are totally different from the original movies and then naming them the same thing. For like example, Snow White. That one they changed and made it a great film. It was actually really good. But they made it something different and they should have called it something different because it wasn't the same storyline, but they just said the same name because it's about the same characters and the same story. But still, they shouldn't do that and they should name it something else and something different. But when I thought of it as a different film, I actually quite enjoyed it thoroughly. And one of my favorite parts was probably the acting in this film. It was stupendous and amazing. My favorite character, who is Oakes Burgley, who plays Pete, was simply fantastic. He is the heart and soul of this film, to tell you the truth. He had to carry everything in his imagination, because he's best friends with the dragon, which is cgi And the CGI in this film was also very crisp and clear and amazingly done. Now, I also have... Bryce Dallas Howard, who plays Grace. She was actually a forest wild ranger, and she was actually quite amazing. And her character was very deeply in touch with Pete, and she was curious about him just as much as her daughter, who is Natalie Una Lawrence. And she actually is just as curious as her. And Una Lawrence is the kid, is the person who finds Pete. She is totally surprised, and she follows him through the forest and falls down from a tree. And that's when her father, Jack West Bentley, runs to the rescue, and they all find little Pete there standing there alone. Now, I actually really like the storyline of this film. It was okay, and it was amazing to tell you the truth, but it seemed like the dragon and a bunch of things were just kind of different. Like, the dragon, for example, acted more like a gigantic dog who can breathe fire with wings. It had fur instead of scales, and children like me who are from America aren't dumb. We do read books as well as movies, and we get to see them. So we know what a dragon looks like when we see one. And this kind of looked like something that was from where the wild things are to me. Now, I'd have to say that the animation and the graphics in this were simply fantastic and well done. I really liked this fact about them because it was crisp and clear and just amazing to tell you the truth. And I really liked that. Now, one of my favorite scenes is probably when Pete, Grace, and Beckham, who's played by Robert Redford, by the way, um, are all trying to save the Elliot, the dragon, from these giant chains and ropes that the dragon hunters put him in. They're nervous and scared, but luckily they want to return him home to his forest, and they just might. So you want to watch the film to find out what happens. Big mystery. Now, I would give this film four stars, four fire-breathing dragon stars, that is to be exact, because it wasn't like the original, and it was missing some pizzazz or something. I actually went out of the theater, wanted to ball my eyes out from Disney, the happiest place on earth, and it wasn't that good. Now, the age range for this film is probably eight up and eight and up, because adults will like this great film because it actually has a lot of great graphics in it and it's very down to earth might I add. But the children who are under eight, the storyline is actually a bit complicated so they might want to fall asleep and they'll be bawling their eyes out. So let's just say don't bring your kids to this movie really unless they're eight and above. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. See you next time on Kids First.